go. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome to C Block. I hope everyone's having a good day of work. If you're in North America, well, I suppose if you're in the United States of America, because Canada's was last month or so, we're back to try and finish up purple science today. No, pink science. Yes, pink science. It looks like it's beastly. But as always, let's get some landfill down and we'll see where we get to. We're going to build it straight above purple science. Gonna drop off some of the stuff that I don't need. Give a bit of space in the inventory. Get rid of the belts. They need to go for upgrading. Here. Yeah. Other thing that I want to try and do is get the bigger power poles set up. If I have a space for them anywhere. There's some tinned copper wire. Doesn't seem like I easily have space for them. Where's the current set of power poles? Is that? We just have to extend the base slightly then. Need to take four. Cool, okay. Lots are coming. Now I want the larger power poles. I want substations as well. Probably yes. And they all need tinned copper wire. Do copper wire. Tinned copper wire. We'll rebuild the small ones down here, probably, because it's going to be easier. I want... Five small. Like that. Combinators in. I don't seem to have any combinators this side. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I hit cut instead of pay, cop, copy. There we go. Do you need to put back? If small power poles, less than 10, you need to put back if big power poles, there are power poles again, lost them. than 10. You need a chest. You need to go there.
probably okay. Then you need to put back F substations. Less than 10. Don't have iron rods. Swap you because I don't need all these ball bearings. You can make some iron rods. You can put back F iron rod. Fifty. You can then let iron rods through. Okay, so that's a problem. I have too many brass pipes because I didn't have that connector hooked up correctly. Never mind, what are these brass pipes for? We'll figure out what to do. It'll be fine. Okay, we'll leave that for a few minutes to get going. That will be power that I need for the new base. I am going to want upgraded trains at some point, but I don't think that's now. Landfill. power looking are uh, creeping up take this away you don't need any of this any of that at all better I don't, you need, do need to be here. Tinned copper wire, less than 50. Copper wire, less than 50. just to jump start it just to check it's going Look, take put Like we're going to have a problem with steel getting all the way to the end. How many robo ports have we managed to construct? Plenty. Good. Okay, we have some big power poles coming through. What's the range on this guy? Did it go? Oh, you get auto trashed. Ha, never mind. 
The bot's too efficient for me. It's bigger. Okay. Science 10. That will churn for the next couple of hours while we build science. I think I'm going to need an upgraded lab as well. I just want to check. No, it doesn't seem like we do. Can I dump the purple science in already then, even though I don't have a belt? Be good if we could. So at least we can start getting some of the purple research going. A little bit from just to try and get it over here. It will sort of distribute itself, but it will only distribute. Ah, that one can't, that one's not upgraded. Fair enough. Okay, we need to upgrade those labs. We can do that later. Tin is still slow. Fine. We have to get that belt upgraded. to get the plasma turret checked out as well. Emphasize alphabet. Yeah. Sweet spot in the middle. It's good. Take these guys out. And one more. Good. Okay, let's get the recipe keyed in. Now that's purple. We don't need that anymore. Well, not for the next tens of hours. Pink. There are some extra labs. Pink science, this one. We'll start with the flying cargo kit, I guess. Universal transport engine, red circuits, cobalt steel, titanium bearing, aluminium plate, lubricant. We want to go for two again, two a minute, two a second. We're not going to be able to produce anywhere near that, but red circuits I have, cobalt steel gear wheel. That's cobalt steel. But it would, we'll scale it to blue assemblers. That's it. That's half of it done. Let's do this to start with. This is looking promising, okay. This is where I want to start from. We'll do that. Just didn't mean to do that. Two. And then you want this guy. Oh, hold on. So 
the best way to do this? Let's do this slightly differently. Let's do it like that. And you can output here onto that belt. And you can go here. You need another belt of input and your fluid. I put you here. Can we just do it by a direct insertion? I think we can. Nice. Then the automated storage. Okay. So that also needs titanium steel, but a different belt. Ah, so it's the opposite. Cobalt steel bearing. Ah, game. Guess the same sort of ratio. One. You need it one, one, and one. Okay. So, pin. You here? But not that then. How do I want to do this? Like that. That. Like that. That like that. And it says I need two of these. Can I do... And then, can you get far enough? Can I pull you higher? Put you here. Right. Uh, then, take from... There, then you take from over there. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, I'm, this seems less intimidating than the last one. Which is sort of promising. So you need to be Titanium and cobalt steel. Let's get that belt up. Titanium. Cobalt steel. With gold. Now I want you to come across this way. We are on, on speed. Now we're running so fast it sometimes gets a bit confusing. What's robotics? It's pink science. So let's make sure we've got some purple science recipes going. Faster assembly machines, yes please. 
black chips. Okay. Intimidating. Start on the metallurgy, yep. New thorium. Really want purple only research. Pink, yeah, purple only, not pink. Slag processing, yeah, we'll take that. The catalyst is going to be helpful. Uh, lubricant, I need to get him. One of the pipes down here. Here we go. Where should we put it? We can just go straight across here, I think. Ah, I need to get the circuits in here, of course. So you need aluminium red circuit. You need you need brass and blue circuits. Of course, it wasn't quite going to be that easy, was it? One gap here. Brass. We get which one brass is. Is this brass? Bronze. So that makes this one brass. The light one. Aluminium and red circuits. circuits through here like that then aluminium are you? Here we go.
go check where the red circuits have gotten to. Completely out of them. What are you short of? Aluminium. Yep, we are short of aluminium. Run down and see what the problem is. Is it manganese again? Yep, it is. Particular part of manganese. All of it. What's that mineral slash production looking like? Not bad. We are producing. of water. Yeah, they just never had the recipe set. Ingredient shortage. I'm gonna go top up my coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I think this base definitely counts as on its last legs. And these guys are short of electrodes. Not producing enough purified water. What level of water production do I have up here? Hydro plant three. Yeah, so it's definitely. We just we are short of water, I think. Don't know if I can just make it better. We're doing this everywhere essentially. Find out. See what that's gonna do. Going to flash at me. Strand casting I'm gonna want. I am gonna to want to get the advanced steam turbines, although we're not gonna to to build many of these buildings. So the blue circuit requirement is too high. There is some water excess here. Could I fit a pump in here? Uh, maybe. 
can definitely get one more here. Put a top up valve in. My top up valve. Here we go. Look, you're still short. Lasting charge, smaller area. Seems about right. Do I have a top up valve? Can I produce one? We grab one quickly. Do I have the valve set in my inventory? Get 10. We always need these valves, they don't take up much space. I also have the bot to bring us some. Ultra pumps, belts, good, here we go. I should fix up the water shortage problems. What's that done to my fluid production? Still about 114,000. They're basically still short of slag. Your problem is no electrodes. You aren't having enough purified water. You are also short of water. Can I inject a bit more water in? Well, there was not. Maybe. You're short of water too. So what's a nice way to get a generic way to get some water in here? I put the blasting charge here. And I get a offshore pump there. Can, but it's not. Close enough. So I'm short of electrodes. Let's see how aluminium production looks now. Manganese production, I should say. Okay, that's better. We have managed to get enough sludge to get manganese back going with that, with those few fixes. Or else we just started producing something else. Yeah. Okay, let's see what that's done for red circuits. Okay, red circuits are a little bit more revived. Check power pole production.
structure of iron rods. Yeah, ignore this, I got the circuit condition wrong. This is no iron plates. You want 50 iron plates, brass, some steel, some brass, and a roboport. You have iron plates inside there. This has iron plates. Brass gear wheel out. So they're already producing brass gear wheels down there. Why is iron plate? Do you have iron plate? I want 50. You are hooked up correctly. You have some iron plates now, good. That's why your condition is set wrong. You don't need Circuit conditions is better. Brass plates. Oh, do we actually have brass plates on the bus? Let's check. We have brass plates here. Have some brass. Do not have any brass here. Why are you trying to move wood bricks? You have brass. You have brass, but you're trying to move too much other stuff. But you have brass here, you do not. You're trying to move stone bricks, furnaces and other stuff. Yeah, this is starting to get quite inefficient. At this point, I think I'm just going to speed it up a bit. But we'll eventually use all these buildings. So none of it's technically wasted. Good. Okay. That's working. Back to pink science. We'll be able to replace this with a robot mall at some point soon. So maybe even a small amount of red circuits have made it up here. Maybe. Probably not.
and I grab a few red circuits. I think I will. I want to check that this works. Don't even have any red circuits here. Almost all the red circuits I have are just getting eaten by the mall. I think I just need to temporarily disable red circuits. So that at least some of them can make it up to where I need them. What are you short of? Fuel? Ah, okay, I didn't give you any fuel. Fair enough. We'll figure that one out shortly. Cobalt steel gear wheel. Are ah, you? There. Take from there. Not put there. Good. That's that thing done. How do I make this? Integrated circuit. Sweet. That's basically most of a blue chip. I think what I'm going to do... I think if I just take this setup here... How many... Do I need two? If I do it with the red electronic assemblers, I need one of them. So it's probably gonna be easier just to do the setup again, because I think it's just gonna be such a different size that it's really not gonna matter. This one. So gold, gold wire is one, one and one. I need some extra gold wire for the main thing along with some solder. One copper, one gold. A, ah, the AC doesn't need all the other stuff. I was confused. I was thinking it needed the electronic components and stuff like that, but it doesn't. Just the silicon. We need silicon, plastic, gold, copper, and then some solder. Right, silicon, plastic, gold, and copper. Yeah. We'll get it to come kind of down here. So we'll do this. This. Gold wire. This. This.
you also output here. Put the solder. Half about the solder with some gold wire. Integrate electronics. So one of you as well. Should have done this science first. Fine. So let's get Gold and copper, copper and gold on here first. I want you to be on the top gold. I don't actually want it here. Do it like that. Probably fine. We're not realistically building much more up here. Gold and copper. Let's put. Silicon and plastic on this one. Yep, that works. Silicon and plastic here. Where's plastic? Here's plastic. Oh, here's silicon. Perfect. Sulfuric acid. That is one of these. Here we go. Sulfuric, then I need solder. I'll bring solder this way. And I want to make sure you're only on half of the belt. So 
I'm going to put gold wire onto the other half. Drop near. So that. Sulfuric acid hasn't piped in. Drop near that. I think this is now doing the right thing. And they need seven of these assemblers. Science. One. Playing cargo kits. They are working. Should be pink science. And we have done it. Into a box, please. Grab a tiny bit of landfill here. Then let's see if we can run the output belt over the back. this so that it joins up with purple science down here it's fine it just come down here to the labs I want you to come all the way down the end. Probably, right? Yeah, just come down there. It's great. Grab some landfill. Let's fix this up. Too fast. Too much landfill. more than enough. I've got a whole warehouse full up here. Okay, how do we get the science down? ridiculous amount of belt here for something so silly, but whatever. So much belt, so much ridiculous amount of belt that we actually run out. And now I can't get enough inserters in.
too funny. I think I just need to pop the inserter so that you're near. Near. Take him far. Take him far. Take far, drop. Perfect. Further across. There we go, now it lines up. Science belt of doom. Take but see where pink science is. Short of red circuits again. Don't want any of the red circuits buffering up here. Ah, that's why we have a problem. Copper and tin are atrocious. I know why tin is bad. It's the belts. Let's fix this up. I think the base robots are going to take care of that. Yep, they are. This is all upgraded. It is. Steel is bad as well. I think that's manganese. That's got tin better. Check what's up with copper. Completed that, that's good. That. Start on some of the more advanced smelting recipes. Because we're going to want to build the new base with that in mind. Yeah, manganese is short again. I think it's short of mineral sludge. It almost certainly is, yeah. Is that production of fluids looking? Hundred and fifteen. I think it's doing about the best that it can. Oh, 
Shortage of electrodes. Whereas you have You have too much purified water. Did I break the purified water up here when I was experimenting? Doesn't look like it. Got sulfuric waste water. Okay, I'm going to grab a glass of water and then we'll see if we can figure this out. Okay, we're back. So I'm thinking that what I might do is instead of continuing to repair the sludge stacks here, not that I think it's impossible to fix them, I think we're fundamentally limited by the pipe throughput design that I have over here. Because I can see all the way along they're just short of sludge. What I could do is build my train base, make the sludge the first thing that we build, and then train some sludge in somewhere here. Or even towards the top. And use that as a way of filling up the extra production that we have here. Or alternatively, train in some ingots. Because I think the overall base is actually functioning okay, apart from the fact it's just short of, very short of sludge. But let's see what it would take to build a fairly high powered mineral sludge production. Uh, mineral. Don't think we'll build it today. Cupric sludge, concentrated anodized sludge. Don't want that. What does cupric sludge do? Curious now.
Cupric chloride. Okay. Never mind. Doesn't matter. How do I find mineral sludge? Which tab is it in? Resource refining. Here we go. Slag slurry. Cupric. Slag slurry. Slag slurry. Yeah, here we go. Mineral sludge. Slurry charcoal filtering. I want that. That produces mineral sludge out. Then I need slag slurry in from slag. Then I need sulfuric acid from the wastewater. Sulfur dioxide, this comes from sulfuric wastewater. It's the wastewater processing. Here we go. That's right. Yep. I need slag from electrolysis. Electrolysis 2. Now, if I wanted to have a thousand mineral sludge a second, what does that take? I don't know if I want a thousand mineral sludge. At this point, I'm just curious how big I'd have to build it. Build it to the components that we actually have available. It's a hundred electrolyzers. I am short of sulfuric wastewater. I thought this was supposed to be sulfur positive. doesn't quite make sense to me because how does it work anywhere so I have extra sulfur out how did I do it over here This is sulfur to sulfur dioxide. And then this is sulfuric acid. Yeah. That's what I did there. Why? Why am I so short? Another way I'm supposed to produce sulfur. No. Shouldn't be. Mineralized water. Slurry charcoal filtering. It's the right recipe. 
Slurry charcoal. Slag and sulfuric acid. So I'm going to have a lot of sulfur left over. Because I need 1,700 sulfuric wastewater in. That seems wrong. Sulfur from the wastewater processing, yeah. That's right. But I am still short sulfuric wastewater. Ah, because it's looking for the purified water, that's why. I have to add in some extra purified water. That's what it's doing wrong. How do I want to make purified water? Some steam. 150 for 100 and some saline water. 100 for 100. This is one second. 100 every two seconds. This is 100 every one second. We'll just do that one. That's better. This now takes in sulfuric waste water, produces enough sulfur to keep this going. And I'm slightly sulfuric wastewater positive. I have too much purified water. If I put that below, it gets confused. This one at the bottom. You're going to produce 1,200. In actual fact, I need you to produce the difference. So I need you to work about 50%. Oxygen I'm now short of. No, I've got extra oxygen. Try change to the matrix solver. Ah, thanks for the tip, Arrogate, and happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Good afternoon. How do I change to the matrix solver? I've not used that button before. In default level three. Computing by element. Ah! Genius, thank you. I had never known that that button existed. I've always gone through and made these little percentage tweak changes. I need to clean the electrodes. Wow, okay. You produce mineral water, you take impurified water. You're taking 1250 purified water. 12,500 purified water. I put some speed modules in these guys. 65. Twenty-four, okay. Fine.
but does this recipe look good? I have to input a lot of sulfuric acid, it says. I shouldn't have to. More than 10,000 water that's a problem. Two times 10,000 water. Elmwards has many nuances and you've got to fiddle about with things. Yeah, I've been noticing that. I've definitely got the hang of it more since playing C block. I don't know how you could do it, how you could solve or finish C block without Elmod. Okay. Where is that 19,000 sulfuric acid coming from? Okay, is that why it's getting confused with the the sulfuric acid? Find the pump. Where is water from a pump? Production. Intermediary science resource. This one. Voids. Offshore pump, here we go. No, that's not what I want. Be in the last tab. Water, made in offshore pump. Okay. That makes sense. It's also lowered the number of these I need. Oh, hmm. I don't know why that said at 21%. Take that out. Because of that below electrolyzers. Okay, let's fix the sulfuric acid problem. 242 ground water bores. Yeah, we won't do it with that. We'll do it with an offshore pump. 13. Now we have an excess of mineralized water. <clears throat> Extra saline water, that can void. Not gonna let me void that. I should be able to work out how much I can void though. 29 pumps for purified water. Why have I got so much? Because I need 5,000 purified water down there. Is there a better purified water recipe that can make that better for me? Use foreman for figuring out chains that have weird self loops, but also it has its own nuances where things won't work or look right. Okay, I've not used that tool. Maybe I'll give that a quick um, Google after stream. Oxygen and hydrogen makes purified water. That's what I'm missing. So let's take this one out. Make the purified water. Just start with the oxygen and the hydrogen. Make it twice as fast by using some electrolyzers. Don't know if that's worth it. No, that's the wrong way around. That's taking impurified water. I want to produce purified water.
from oxygen and hydrogen. Where is that gone? Where do I make it in? I'm in a chemical plant. Not that one. Well, there. Desulfurization. I was expecting it to be here. But it seems not. Water treatment. Just check I am doing that recipe down here. I thought I was. Yep, here we go. Purified water. Purified water recipe. Oxygen and hydrogen. So filter by product versus filter by ingredient. Ah, thank you. Lifesaver. Only 31 of these. To produce the purified water. Does that give me enough? Looks like it. If I put this one above, he's going to do it in different orders. No, it seems okay. So 31 purified water production. This will get me a thousand sludge out the end. A thousand sludge a second. What time is it? Okay, one thirty. I've got to stop in a couple of minutes. I have to go and cook a turkey. Excuse research up. Okay. Where do we want to build this monstrosity? So I think for future base growth, I want to be bringing ingredients on my trains over to here to top up the belts. So I reckon what we do is clean out some space here. And attempt to build a mega sludge factory over here. This is helpful as well, because it means they need less water, less pumps. So at 10,000 water, I think what I'm going to need is 10 lines of these. So what if I shrink this to 100? That takes in 1,000 water. This is good. Then I can build 10 in a row of this to give me a thousand sludge a second and have that loading onto my train. This also doesn't violate any internal pipe constraints. And I can build it with a pump. Four of these. Can they share a charcoal cleaner? Cleaning filters. Yep, yeah, they can. Perfect. Okay, I like that. That's going to be probably the build task for after I come back from vacation at this point. 
So I likely won't see you until early December Arrogate. So happy Thanksgiving to you. Enjoy all of your streams in the meantime. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.